Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, and yes, I'm back. Just been studying, just basking, just, um, you know, I come on here and I pray that you understand I am by the Spirit of God. It's, um, it's not to be arrogant or try to act like I'm all that, but I live transparent and I speak transparent on purpose because God says that's what the body of Christ needs. So many preachers and teachers and leaders, they it, it's like living a facade. They live two different lives. But God says that's one thing that Jesus did. He was transparent all the way because he wanted to teach us how to walk, how to talk, how to stand, how to pray, how to forgive, how to be real among people and also with ourselves foremost. And I'm saying this. Everything that God tells me to do, that's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to do anything of myself. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And with that being said, one of the most powerful things that God told me was to write this little book, short, powerful, and real. And I see it every day. And he even gave me the title. It's called Living Under Spiritual Temptations, which is Lust. Lust is very powerful. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying this morning. Lust opened the gate for every other demonic activity in your life. That's why God says you have to guard your ears, your eyes. No, no, pay attention. Pay attention. The enemy is always trying to get in. He is like he's watching you. There ain't no like he is watching you. How can I enter in? How can I make them fall? Especially if your heart is for God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know you all see the great falling away. It's real. I'm talking about powerful men and women of God are being fooled in this hour. And to be honest with you, because they're drawn away from their own lust. There it goes. James first chapter says, you know, when you are tempted, don't say that God is tempting you. Don't say, okay, blah, blah. No, no, no. You are drawn away by your own lust and entice. God says, that means that we have to watch what we're watching, what we're listening to, what we're entertaining. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm saying this to say, God is real. Spirits is real. This thing called life. It's a spiritual battle more than the physical, but most people, they rather live in the physical and the corner act like they don't understand. You know, doggone well, demons are real. You just scared of them because unfortunately we have a church that's unchurched. And I've been saying that for years because it's true. I'm still trying to figure out why are y'all, and I'm sorry, I'm just going to speak general. Most leaders and people, you scared of demons. And that's all Jesus did in New Testament, cast out demons. You know, you guys talking about, oh, that's an illness, mental illness, and this, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. Everything is a spirit. And then you have even well-known people say, well, you know, everything is not spiritual. Excuse me? God says, before I formed you, I knew you. That means you were a spirit first. What are you talking about? As a matter of fact, that's why he's going to destroy this earth. What are you talking about? Hallelujah. He said, this is not your home. We're just passing through. So you have to question everything and everybody. And if it doesn't line up with the word of God, the power of God, the spirit of God, it ain't God. I don't care how it look. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, one thing God was talking to me about is deception. Do you know where the first deception started in heaven? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. It started in heaven. And how do I know? Because my Bible tells me so. Hallelujah. And the spirit of God. How do you think? That Lucifer was able to actually get God angels to turn against him. Oh, he had to be doing some crooked stuff. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. It's called the great deception. The spirit of deception is so great because it will make you think it's God and it's not God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says he one third of him and the angels, they started a revolt in heaven. That's why the Bible says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, for woe unto the devil has come among you. That's why Ephesians 6 says, spiritual wickedness in high places. You guys still haven't figured out the high places, huh? That's leadership. That's government. You hello? But guess what? Everybody's so much about money and surviving until you act like you don't know and you don't see what you see and know what you know. Because you're trying to survive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now we have a group of Pharisees and Sadducees pretending to serve Jesus. 
but inwardly they do what they want to do, how they want to do it, and when they want to do it. Hallelujah. So God was saying, Deanna, you got to let them know you got to gird everything and guard everything that he has given you, your gift, your anointing, your spirit. This is a spiritual war. I don't care how much we live in the physical. It is more spiritual, period, end of story. Hallelujah to his name. It's just that we have a, we have a conflict. And let's be honest, your flesh want to do what your flesh want to do. And your spirit is saying, no, the war is after your soul and he's not playing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It started from the beginning with Eve and it will end with us. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He keep, keep trying to trip up your words talking about God didn't surely say, yes, God did. The devil is a lie. Let me tell you something. The most powerful thing that he has is the power of suggestion. He suggests things to you. And if you do not rebuke it, you're going to think that thing. And if you think it, you're going to act it. And if you act it, come on, somebody, that means you're going to walk in it. So you have to gird your mind, your spirit, your heart, your eyes, everything. Check everything, God says. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because there's a great falling away. People are falling away from God in this hour. And everybody's acting like they're amazed. Why are you so amazed? He said it would happen. He said even the elect should be food in this hour. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You guys are so moved about what Kanye and everybody else doing. Can I tell you something? Our position is just to pray. It doesn't even matter what he's doing. How about that? Because one thing I know, and you can keep living and find out, God going to expose everything. God has a certain timing for everything. Hallelujah. He has a certain timing when this world going to end. He has a certain timing when Jesus is going to come back. He got a certain timing when we're going to die. So guess what? All you got to do is just wait, said the Lord. But we get impatient because we want to prove to each other. Don't you understand what they're doing? Divide and conquer. If I can get them to start acting crazy, then guess what? They can't stay tuned in what we're really doing. Oh, come on, somebody. The enemy is the greatest distraction in this world. He will send a distraction in the form of a man, a woman, a job, money, whatever it takes to move you away. And how do you know you're distracted? distracted? Because here's what's happening. You get up there and you will lose focus. How many times, I'm going deeper this morning. How many times have you really lost focus in your life? Don't lie. Don't lie to yourself. There are times I'm talking about you're focused on God. You're reading this word. You say, you know what? I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. And the enemy, you see, he's been watching us our whole lives. Y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. Since you was a little child, that's why you went through what you went through, how you went through it. So he knows how you coming. He knows what you like and how you like it. Oh, come on, somebody. You Let me tell you something. You want to know who you are? Get by yourself. What you thinking? What you doing? Don't play with me. Hallelujah. When you are alone, that's who you are. Are you serving God? Are you doing stuff you ain't got no business? Are you on that computer looking at porn? Yeah, I said what I said, how I said. People love to play this game. We're all imperfect. We all fall short of the glory of God. But the truth is, wisdom and discernment is real. You can't hide. Oh, come on, somebody. Not from the spiritual eye. That's why they call it the eagle eye. Eagles see farther than any bird. Fly higher than any bird. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, count the cost. That's why he says, what is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Don't you see what's happening? Everybody's trying to gain the world. That's why you see people fighting. I mean, people just then lost their mind. It's not just over a Popeye's sandwich. Everybody wants something. But can I tell you something? If Jesus was to come today, how many of you would be lying talking about God? You know what? As a matter of fact, most of you would panic. And you know why you would panic? Because you know you ain't right. But most of you think, I got time. My brothers and sisters, you don't know what the time is. So no, you don't have time like you think. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because life is fragile. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. Count the cost, said the Lord. Count the cost, said the Lord. Count the cost, said the Lord. Too many people play games. You do anything for money, honey, and funny. And it's not even worth it. The things that you are going after, it's not even worth it. Most of the time, you can't even see it until after or it's too late. I've seen it my whole life where people run after money, sex, drugs, just to have a good time for the flesh to feel appeased. And guess what? On their deathbed, I'm sorry. I repent. Notice I say on their deathbed. Something got to happen for people to change. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. That's why he gives you free will. So what you going to do? Hallelujah. 
We all have a mandate. We all have a calling. That's why he says many are called and few is chosen. Because to be honest with you, many want to do what they want to do. Hallelujah. But the few, the faithful few, notice it keeps coming up that faithful few. We're going to do it even if we don't understand it. If we have fear and there are some times when things will make you afraid. I don't care who you are. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. But that's when you go back to Jesus. God strengthen me mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. God keep me. God strengthen my mind, my soul, my spirit. God, you got to be real. And when y'all praying, you need to start saying this. Everybody. Father God, I repent for anything I may have said. No only or unknowingly. Because that's how some of your prayers are not being answered because either you didn't thought something or you didn't say something you ain't had no business and until you get that thing right god cannot hear your prayers people don't understand god is a holy god the only reason people don't believe it is because we're seeing so much unholy but he says holiness is still required said the lord come on somebody hallelujah people don't like the truth Mm-mm. because it'll cut you oh come on somebody it, the, the word of god is a two s word it will cut you to the core of your spirit. Hallelujah. But God is not trying to kill you. He's trying to save you. He's not trying to kill you. He's trying to build you. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that we really count the cost. And I love the way you said that. Hidden sins. Oh my God. That, that, that's it right there sister. That's it right there. There's too many hidden sins. But I tell you what God said, they will be exposed. He said, before we die, nothing should be hidden. Do you understand what's happening? So I pray that everybody count the calls. Count the calls, people. It's not worth it. Be encouraged. Be subdued by the power of God, the presence of God, the fire of God. It doesn't matter who's rolling with you or not. Because one thing another spirit is taking over is that spirit of attention. We think if it's not a lot of people, if you really noticed in the Bible when God allowed the children of Israel to go to war, every time they had too much, he said, you know what, that's too many people. You know why? Because God wanted to show his glory. God wanted to show his power. Hallelujah. Some of you, you're trying to connect with people. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do that. You're doing too much, said the Lord. He said, just stand still, stand still. I got you. I'll show you. I'll promote you. I'll, I'll say, that's my daughter. That's my son. You're doing too much. You're trying to manipulate the situation. God says, God says, when all you got to do is just stand, 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 said the Lord. Hallelujah. And start praying for your family like never before. It's too many, it's too many things that's happening. Too many kids are getting taken. Not just for your family. Pray for your city, your state, your country. It's time for us to pray like never before, people. It's not the time to play games. We should stay in a position of prayer. Don't wait till something happens, but pray before it happens, God says. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All right, so God bless you, God keep you, and basically I'm just saying lust opens the door for every demonic activity in your life. That's why he says lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, lust of the belly. Hallelujah. I noticed something. You know, um, this country is the only country that have all these fast food restaurants. Other countries, they have a few, but they don't have as many eateries as Louisiana and as the rest of this country. You want to know why? If they can get you in your belly, then your God becomes your your belly becomes your God. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm have to say something. I'm not trying to be ugly. And God was talking to me too. He said one thing about the body of Christ. Most of us are overweight. We can't carry nothing if you're overweight. I just said something. Even in the spirit, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. How can you run for God? How can you do what God have called you to do if you don't balance things out? That's why I'm getting it together straight up. Yes, I'm a chef, but I have backed away. I said, no, 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 no. I got to be healthy. I got to do what God have called me to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm being real. It's time. Real talk. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers. For that is who we are. God bless.